I'm at the fabulous studio of painter and artist Hunt Sloan. He has books out. Mm, they're really great. So, want to meet him? Of course you do. I'm sitting with Hunt Sloan and I actually interrupted him, interrupted him from his painting. He was actually sitting there and I'm like, I gotta interview you, get over here. So we're in this amazing palace. I don't know what you call it, but every place that you've ever been in, you create a world of your own. Would that be correct to say? Yes. So why is that? You, know, you have your Hunt Sloan and world. Because I'm an anti-minimalist. <laughs> You know, I can't stand empty space, and I'm an insatiable collector of mid-19th century furniture with a few. I love that. I love that I mean, You found me that chair, remember? I know. I found him in this... In my black and white stripe this, room when I had 40, 89 rooms. 89 rooms. 89 rooms. On 10th Street. That's just insane. I'm like you. What I love about you is that I found you have floor to ceiling paintings. The wall is filled, and I have that in my apartment too. And I'm the only one. Everybody's really into minimal, but we're not at all. Makes me nervous. And I like stuff. Like, I don't like stuff. white. <laughs> no, because it's kidding. so visual. So obviously you're a visual person, and that's why you, you paint. So tell me about your painting, your work a little bit. I know you're really famous for the bunnies. This paint, year. The bunnies. This year. The oh, this year. Just came out. Um, well, I would say I'm, the birds were a big factor. Mm -hmm. What I do, I live in 60 rescue parrots here, and um, I would say, you know, we have a taste that really was at its peak in the late 19th century. Mm -hmm. You know, at the conservatory was the important room in the house. I've created a hundred-foot conservatory here with, you know, palms that are constant. Dreyfus is one of my favorite. Mm -hmm. With the um, wonderful advent of uh, farm-raised orchids are now able to have blooming things surrounding for nothing. And I'm fortunate enough to make them read it. But, um, you know, more is more. I like headless marble statues. <laughs> but you love nature. I mean, everything... Yeah, nature is my I was going to say everything, because you paint, obviously, animals, birds, bunnies, flowers. You know, how do you decide... How do you decide what you're going to paint that season? Well, it's not a seasonal thing with me. I just paint all the time. But yeah. first it was the birds, and then it's the bunnies. No, I mean, there was much more before that. All of that came out of my earlier saint thing. Mm -hmm. Tell me about the birds, because I hear them squawking in the back. They want attention. Of course they do. How many do you have? I don't know. I think 50 or 60. 50, and they're all rescues? 80%. And why are they rescued? Are they mean? Are they like? Why do people give them up? Well, people have a child, and the kid and the bird, you know, don't get along. Usually, people keep a bird for about ten years. Because they live a really long time. They can live to. I have one that's seventy-five. I've had for forty something years. Wow. Um, I just had one that was sixty-five. A little Amazon that died recently. Oh. Had a inoperable tumor, but um, he made it to 65. That's and that, that's better than average. I hope I make it to 65. I don't know. I'm still working, <laughs> me, still working on it. You know, it's it getting closer. It's, it, really. So what's next for you? So you're doing the fabrics. You have a new book out, the Bunny Book. I do a Glitterati Press, and then I have a book coming out in the fall of Vaseline Press on, um, called Art Meets Design, which is about my homes. You know, I do, I've rescued three national landmark homes without help. That's great. <laughs> and I've furnished them. And, um, and you're keeping them the way... Yeah, well, I've punched up with color. To keep, to right, but I mean, the, the bones of it, you know, Oh, I never, I never alter a room. I just rebuild. I mean, I just built the original kitchen back to Lakeside Plantation. And I, um, do nothing but restore it to the original. Do you work out in your houses too? Do you work, do you paint in there or, or do you paint primarily in your 
I paint primarily in New York, but I am starting to do on-site projects. I did an 18-foot metal sculpture for the Veterans Highway in Louisiana, which I worked with people in Lafayette to do that. And I just did a whole bunch of painted ceramics in Montreal. Don't you get tired? Oh my god, you're just so prolific. You don't stop. Um, I rest in my house upstate. That's, that's I, I just go there and open the door and pull out. And just chill. Yeah, and I go there most of the weekends. Because I see you multitasking. He was actually painting when I grabbed him and talking on the phone at the same time and doing a really good job at both. I, I was impressed. more than that. Oh, okay. I was really <laughs> impressed, I have to say. I'm usually screaming at four people. Oh, I, I, heard, I heard some of that too, but you're nice about it. You don't, you don't, you're not mean. Thanks for joining me. I'm Lorna Zersky for NewNYNow.com.